Hey friends, welcome back. So, what I have been doing in this game is a lot of trading missions. As you can see, it's a good chunk of money, 13 grand after 35 missions. It kind of increases every time you do a mission. I'm not sure why, but I'm not going to argue with it. And the missions take like a minute or two to do. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that being said, I do believe we talked to everybody on this station. That's a visitor. Yada yada. Where are we at? Not now. I think these are all just traders. Yeah, this is all just trading stuff that we've already been through. Crazy religious guy. Okay. Yeah. Where's that lady about the piracy nonsense? Out here or somewhere else? I don't remember. Anyway, um, being that I did those 35 missions, yeah, that's the pupper we're now working with. So, watch out, galaxy. Here I come. As you can tell, I've been places doing those trades and missions. Um, yeah, this boy, this big boy is about 64 grand, some along those lines. And it has four tur or three turret slots, two big turret slots. Big shield, I'm sorry, big shield boy, which is 1,200 strong, ridiculous. And then uh, I, I found a Magellan module, which increases viewing range to 200%, just so I can uh, get more of that gray matter gone. Is, uh, apparently that's what video games do to you. Anyway. we I think we can reasonably come down here and fuck up with these turrets. She's, she's, a, sl she's a slow girl. She's a slow but steady girl. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. Yeah, bucks that I don't give, apparently. Station's in my way, please move. Oh shit, I got through my shield. Was not expecting that. Yeah, but got like 900 range laser beams. Ridiculous. As you can tell. This thing is obscenely powerful. With them laser beams. And if that stream of bullshit hits things, those cannons are stupid. So yeah. 35 missions took me, I don't know, about an hour to do. I was expecting it to take like a day, but nah. It was fine. Oh shit, I don't want to break it. Let's land on this bitch and see what's there. Eventually. One day when it feels like it. Nice and slow, no rush. Today? Maybe? Okay, goddamn. Show the intruder's location is cargo B. Unlock doors. I need to know more about hacking. I 
All right, looks like we unlocked all of the doors. Open it. Find some water. Okay, that's useless. Three iron. Nope. Need to get me some hacking, apparently. We'll be back once we do that. All right, so that's out of the way. I don't, I don't know what this is. Looks like a, a pirate place or something like that. We're supposed to head over here. Uh, yeah, flying through asteroids is a pain in the ass with this thing, though. I'll tell you that much. I mean, it's good at mining. Don't get me wrong. Like asteroids, be damned. God damn. Almost blew myself up. I need a better big shield though. There's only one available. Sadly. Okay, you do. Apparently, the bitch is going to be expensive as fuck though. Eh, not that bad. I it was going to be worse. There's something over here, there's something all over the place, to be honest. Doesn't fly fast, but you know, she'll get the job done eventually. I really gotta stop crunching in the asteroids. And see what the Essex is about as well. That's the uh, capital of the moving capital thing they were talking about. That, that small ass view view range of the first ship, I would never have known any other shit was here. Although I do need a better shield, because this thing recharges slow as shit. Watch out. Yeah, should. You should watch out. Roll you over like it ain't no big. Hey, you watch out. Shutting down. I lost stealth engine is rebooting. Listen, I've got some bad guys on my six. They most, they most likely attack any second. Don't listen to a word they're saying. I'll be ready. There she is. That's the girl Dr. Nortex wants us to bring back to the station. You guys gave us quite a hunt, Missy. Leave us alone. We haven't done anything wrong. Us. What's going on here? You there. This doesn't concern you. The woman is a criminal. Better back off. Eat. Or what? Cupcakes. Outrageous. I'm not a criminal. Tried to break into Nexus back at the Catechist Station. She's no more than a common thief. We already caught her friend, by the way. He will have his trial all fair and square back at the station. And this Missy will too. Can't leave her alone, doctor's orders. I was alone and I have no friends. You didn't catch nothing. What is fair and square to you? Catechus owns a private station. There are laws, the ISA neutral station agreement, for example. She did something illegal on her station, so we can do what we want with her. But I promise you it's going to be fair enough. There's also private, 
property law, so no matter what we do, it's none of your business. It's private property law, you dumbass. Learn names of laws before you're abusing properly. Learn the names of the laws you're abusing properly, at least. It's your choice. She'll come with us no matter what. You still gonna get involved in this mess? I think you're the same guys that shot Mackenzie. And you both then you then you both gonna join your friend for a sit down with Heimwer back at Katika Station. You had your chance. They're adorable. Totes adorbs. I need something to replace those uh, cannons, though, because uh, they're not the most accurate, and it's kind of annoying. When they hit, they hit. Kind of like that. Phew, that was close. Thanks for the help, by the way. These Cadiz guys really had it out for me. Cadiz has already caused some trouble in my colony. Seems Cadiz is stirring up a lot of problems in this sector. You're getting more and more aggressive, to be honest. I left someone behind, a colleague of mine, but it's pretty obvious that I'm not welcome on Catechus Station anymore. It's asking a bit much after bumping into you like this. Could you take a look around the station and pick him up? Maybe, but who the hell are you? Where are my manners? My name is Calypso, and sorry again for crashing into you. It wasn't your fault. The man I need you to find is called Devi. He may not look like it, but he's a pretty resourceful guy. Get him out of there into Callisto. It's a moon around Jupiter. Let me mark it on your map. Here's one of my feathers, so the Devi will recognize you. It'll be pretty suspicious. I'll put it on my ear, I guess. Great idea. Great idea. Looks good on you. So remember, try to find Lieutenant Devi and bring him to Callisto. Act 1, Ganymede Flu. Chapter 2, Callisto's Calypso. That's a tongue twister. Tonga twister. Am I not level 6? I am level 6. Because I want persuasion. And I want Canicus. I also want that. Many things I want. Many things I may eventually have. But not right now. Alright, let's head back or well, let's continue on. Also, I got an active ability, but I'll be damned if I know how to use it. F. Why fly? Does that use it up or does it stay? Looks like it stays. Hmm. That's pretty dumb. I don't even know why I repaired. Didn't need to waste that grand. Could I just use that? Alright, you catechus shits. Big papa's in the house. Move, bitch, get out the way. Not something you'd want to get in front of. Distribution Hall, what is this? Simon Boswell. I read the Catechist brochure and thought this was the real deal, but no one except Dr. Orsh is helping here. Do you have the flu? No, but of course not. Dr. Orsh said I needed to have a regular or I have a regular cold. I could have saved a trip if we had any real doctors on Jupiter. Jupiter. Okay. What's the problem on Jupiter? Worst place in the system except Mercury. Earth, maybe. They have a real doctor on Pluto. Her name's Teal. Maybe pay her a vision. We could use some customers. Place here. 
cares? Doctor, he's from the ISA. Seems to be a good, good, good organ. Seems to be good organization. Doctor Osha himself, stand-up guy, if you ask me. I think Doctor Orsh may have talked to him not too long ago. All right. I'm already first in line. Why can't I get my vaccine now? I don't understand your problem. Please, civilian. We first have to do a personality check on your credentials. Okay. It's outrageous. I just have a cold. I'm from the sphere, and the service here is just terrible. The one with the dirty hair? Yeah, he's around here somewhere. Not here because of the Ganymede flu. We already know what the sphere is, mostly. One away the big ceremony of the funeral of our emperor. The next sphere planet is far away, sadly. Been waiting in line all day. I cut my finger and I just need a stupid band aid. Heard the guards were hunting someone by that name. Are you a criminal? What happened? I was just repairing my shield generator on my shuttle and you don't want to know the details. There we go. Ouch. Thought something was going to happen. And this push you into a badly lit corner of the hall. <laughs> uh, that, that that face right there is a winner. You there should have been listening. What did you do to Calypso? You fucking stupid. So she did get off the station. Thank the emperor. Thought that wretched doctor got to her. Told me to get you off the station. She's waiting for you on Callisto. You there in the corridor. Hold it right there. Shit, too late. Here, take this. Get to Calypso as fast as you can. Don't get involved. You don't know me, okay? The data cube needs to get to Callisto. You two disperse right now. This this is the guy, sir. We found the saboteur. Get your hands off me, you fascist pigs. Better shut your mouth, thief. Why don't you make me? Crunch. What did you think was going to happen? Come on. Don't have human beings on our station. Yes, sir. Listen up. All you fine folk, this man broke into the station core. Sabotaging catechist research, stealing important medical supplies. Stuff we need to treat you, poor sick folk. You understand? What will happen to the guy you caught? According to the ISA, neutral station agreement and private property laws, the criminal will be locked up by station personnel to further investigation. You're welcome to participate in this hearing, Dr. Orish. I'll pass. As you wish, Dr. Phoenix, lead the way. Yes, sir. What about the other one, sir? The one you talked to. I bet they're working together. Totally not involved. I'm sick, I'm just here for some medicine. We're here to help. Leave this person in peace, Stork. That was close. As order has been restored, business can resume. Back in line, people. Okay. I'm nine months pregnant and there's no hospital anywhere on Jupiter, so this is the only place. But they only keep talking about this stupid Ganymede flu. The damn flu is not my concern. I'm... I'm getting a child, damn it. I don't care. Jupiter seems like a noisy place. Jupiter is no health care whatsoever. The Council of Twelve is, re is really neglecting its people. My child is coming. Not later right now. Oh, God. Run away from that. Got really sick while working on the mines on Jupiter. It seems to be a common theme. Jupiter seems like a shit show. I broke my leg in a mine on Jupiter. Jesus. Don't get me started. J12 is doing nothing for us workers on Jupiter. Jeez. Everybody's from goddamn Jupiter. There are sick people in here. What's going on? Why is no one being treated? Please, Dr. Orsh, we are... Overburdened and there's a staff shortage. If you would apply for a job here and stop working for the ISA, you could help these people. Otherwise, stay in line. Yes, yeah, stay in line. I was here first. Help, I'm pregnant. I think my contractions are starting. I'm a doctor, let me through. Sure, why not? You're a doctor too. Nice to meet you, colleague. Listen, I'm gonna take care of the childbirth. There's a lot of sick people. On and around Catechist Station, I give, I'll give you my supplies and you take care of the minor cases. 
Good luck to you, colleague, and don't trust those catechist guys. All right. Good luck to you, doctor. You just see all these people here? I'm busy taking care of everyone. Stay in line. Yeah, stay in line. I was, I was first, and I'm not gonna go away till they took care of me. All right, let's see what we got here. We got some painkillers, headaches, and other stuff. Got some first aid kits. And we got some cough syrup. Let's see what we can do. Simon. I read the Catechism Bruins. No one is me. Blah, blah, blah. No, what? Of course not. Dr. Orr said I have a regular cold. Here, where's some, you want some cough syrup? But I'll give him some cough syrup. start from the top. I guess I could go with the ones that are in blue. It makes sense. I broke my leg in a mine on Jupiter. My foreman told me to take care of it, so I got myself a ride to the station. The brochure seemed yada yada. What are your symptoms again? Like I said, I broke my leg. First aid kit will take care of the problem, and I'm back on my ship. First aid kit it is. It'll do. I wish Catechus would start treating me like yada yada. What are your symptoms? I started getting a fever while working on the mines of Jupiter. I bet it's a typical infection every miner gets. Gets it once in a while. What's Ampix Beta? Ampix Beta. Or 13, sorry. Derp. Treat bacterial infections. Is that what he has? Well, let's, uh. Hold off on that for the second. Waiting all day, I cut my finger. Just a stupid band aid. My finger's bleeding, I just need a band aid or something. I want to give him a first aid kit for that. I just have a regular cold, nothing special. If you're a doctor, you'll know. Well, here's some cough syrup. Here's your first aid kit. Here's some Ampix 13. Alright, I doctored up. I just made it one last push. Rawr! Would somebody hold my hand, damn it? You there. Didn't you hear the lady hold her hand, damn it? Alright. A boy or a girl? It's a girl. You have a name? Oh my gosh, Doc, I haven't thought of one. Maybe this nice person could think of one. Jennifer, Sybil, Lola, or Stargirl. Let's go with the ridiculous one. Good job. That's all we can do for the people here. I'm going to see if I can gather any more information about Catechus and the Ganymede flu. But after all, there's something fish here. I don't believe the whole pandemic and drama about the Ganymede flu. There may be more people in need of medical attention. Do what you can, but watch out for Heimwer and his thugs. Alright. Good luck with your baby. Bandages. Alright, I guess that's it for this here. Can't really do much more at the moment. Oh, y'all y'all wanna stop crashing into me, please? Thank you. Thank you. Stop crashing into me. Letter to Jurgen. So gotta figure out what happened to Jurgen. Jurgen! I bet he's in one of those locked rooms though. Oh shit! Why are they pissed off at me? What did I do? Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. I don't know what the hell I did, but y'all need to fucking stop it. I'm gonna blow y'all the fuck up. Alright. Y'all thought this was a good idea. I'm just gonna remind y'all of that. Papa Horus. I don't know what Papa Horus is, but I guess I don't want to break my affinities with people. All 
I don't see any reputation majigger though. We cool? That is uh, gonna be a problem about flying a big ship, I guess. It is not gonna be uh, the friendly for... Um, crowded areas. Yeah, I love that view range. I mean, it's it's nothing compared to the size of this damn map, but at least it's uh, giving me a little bit of sight. I'm try. I was trying to find the biggest. Uh, view range ship and add that Magellan to it, but um, this one has a base of like 1400, yeah 1450, brings it up to 4k, love it, don't really care about the radar, I barely look at that son of a bitch, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, what's the password? Reindeer Flotilla? Being a smartass. Lieutenant Fang, stand down. The mess that's the messenger Calypso talked about. You know, the one in the big ass spaceship. Alright, I guess we're landing. Hi, right, stranger, I'm Corporal Tobin. Nice to meet you. Use your face, I'll give you some jobs. Alright, cool. I'm Chief Shizong. Nice to meet you. So he's not here right now, but Atlas is expecting a report. Second Lieutenant Devi is a real troublemaker troublemaker. No, he's probably dead. So he's not here at the moment. You're stuck to Atlas. You told us you were coming. We have to be on our toes, Catechus. The Emperor Emperor's incident, a lot of trouble these days. Who are you guys? By the gods, you're right. We are where are my manners? My name is Atlas, and Calypso is my daughter. This here is our little headquarters. We're a special branch inside the Sphere military. Before we waste too much time, did you meet Lieutenant Devi? He spotted me in the crowd thanks to Calypso's feather, but some guards came and took him away. He gave me this, though. Data cube. There should be some useful information on it. Chief Shinzong analyzes this data immediately. We also need to find out where Catechus is holding their prisoners. We need Lieutenant Devi back here as soon as possible. Right away, Captain. Maybe you could do me another favor. Oops, there's a lot on our plate right now, but I need someone who can bring her back here. Could you take a look and talk to her? What the hell's wrong with her? Great. You were sent by the gods. You can find her close to the asteroid field not far from here. All right, I'm going, but don't get any wrong ideas about her. Listen, be nice, but not that nice. Or I'm gonna go hard neck on you. Way, what do you got? So, just as a quick overview, um, those 33 missions I did. Let me buy a majority of the ships. Oh, I actually have to go back to Pluto to look at the ones that I don't have. Womp womp. What we can do later. I'm not too worried about that right now. To be honest. Callisto Memorial. On this ground in the year 146 AM, the Atlantic Alliance and the J-12 and the Sphere held the emergency conference to establish a makeshift alliance against the incoming forces of Zentron and his machines. The uprising machines and their leader Zentron forced the Big Three to put aside their differences and forge a strategic alliance. During this conference, even let the last skeptic realized Zentron was more than a serious threat. Ba -da -do. There's plenty of planets to land on to and check shit out, which I might do because I need a better shield. But for now. <laughs>
Let's go chit chat with her. See what the dealy yo is. Thing flies like a goddamn bus. Damn space bus. That's still a lot of weapons, though. This is beautiful. I wish the turrets were better at doing what they should be doing. All right, kiddo. She seems to be lost in thought. It's my fault you're gone, Europe. And now I even got the lieutenant mixed up in this mess. What's wrong? Eek, damn it. Nothing really. I'm just. I just suck at doing my job, it seems. Never mind. You find Devi on Catechus? Yeah, but the guards took him. Damn, I got him into this mess. He gave me some information before he got taken. Alice is checking into it right now. I hope there's something useful. Get back there as fast as possible. Wait a second. That Catechus ship is coming in. Whoa, calm the fuck down, son. Die, Calypso! Alright, I guess this is happening. Yeah. Even if, I if, even if I fail, you won't stop what's coming. Long live the Southern Court. That was the Southern Court. This is a powerful pupper. There's just no no denying them four turrets is bullshit. It's it has the most turrets. Like even there's a hundred grand ship, but it only had like three turrets. I'm not sure why the sixty grand ship has four turrets. Sorry, five turrets. No, four. I can count. I swear to fucking god. Uh, I am stupid sometimes. 100% of the time, I'm stupid all the percent of the time. There was something fishy about that assailant. The weapons he used look like prototypes from... Never mind that. Listen, let's not involve my father in all this. For now, we need to concentrate on Catechus and the team doesn't need any distractions. You're right, I'm sorry, what do you want to know? Who are you guys? My father, I mean Atlas and me, are responsible for a military branch inside the Sphere government specializing in acquisition of information. You could have just said spies. Our headquarters on Callisto is a place inside the territory of the J-12, but we, ha we somewhat have diplomatic immunity. We're just a small group, not even that active anymore. Maybe you've heard about the death of the political leader, the Emperor. In a field of debris where we met up before, that's where he died. The public narrative is that he died in an accident, but I'm sure, pretty sure there was more to it. A few days before the accident happened, a man called Mr. Shiro had an audience with him. Maybe you know him already. He seems to be Catechus second in command. Right after that awkward Dr. North next. I'm sure they had something to do with the Emperor's accident. We just have to discover the truth about what's happening. Catechus became active just recently. Their leaders are Dr. Nortnex and the infamous Mr. Shiro, except that they are pretending to provide medical care and spread rumors about an alleged epidemic called the Ganymede Flu. We don't know much. I'm sure, I'm sure their whole act is just a front. We have to prepare for anything. I don't know. He was flying a ship from Catechus, or at least it looked like one. The weapons he was using... The weapon he was using was quite interesting, though. And before he died, he screamed something about the Southern Court. That just didn't make any sense. Let's forget it for now. Alright. Let's land on this bitch and turn it in, I guess. Fuck off with your password bullshit.
You couldn't stop me if you wanted to. You couldn't stop me if I wanted you to stop me. There you are. We're starting to get worried about both of you. Zhenzong just finished going through Devi's data cube. Everything all right? Everything's fine, Father. Let's not waste any time. Captain Atlas, Lieutenant Calypso, according to the data we got from Devi, there are three areas of interest in Kataga Station. One will be their command bridge. There's also some kind of small laboratory, but the most interesting location seems to be their nexus at the center. Kataga's main operation seems to be taking place there, and whatever they're doing, they have more than a dozen civilians cooped up there, maybe even hundreds. This won't be enough to proof anything. They could just be doing what they say, quarantining sick people, trying to find a cure. And there's no mention of Yorobor's death, nor anything about the sphere. That's right, but if Catechus had something to do with the Emperor's death, they probably wouldn't leave a log file behind. There's something else, though. There's mentions of a Ganymede project. Not the virus, the so-called Ganymede flu itself, but a project which is divided into phases. There's also data indicating that most data is being kept on the Waichter itself, Catechus' flagship. And a timetable which shows the Waichter is being is undertaking a routine checkup every soul cycle, during which they use to power down most of their systems. Make their flagship penetratable to an infiltration attempt. Great job, Shinzong. Try to hack their mainframe during the next checkup. See what they're hiding. We just need someone inconspicuous. Yeah, the giant flying doom ship is super inconspicuous. Eh, fuck it, why not? Great, then prepare yourself for the next mission and talk to Shinzong when you're ready to go. How about some bounty hunter jobs right here, right now? Let's do it. Been spending time out there, haven't you? Meet some of those nasty filibuster filibusters already? Filibusters? I mean, I'll shoot politicians, it's fine, whatever. Freebooters, sea rovers. Evil pickaloons, marauders, pirates. Okay. Yeah, I generally blow them out of the well. I would say water, but I would also say sky. But I mean, all right. Listen up. I made a list of most dangerous and annoying pirates. If we take care of them one by one, we have a better chance to eradicate the pirate problem once and for all. Start slow and easy. The first one on my list would be Eric the Viking. That's a stupid name. They all have names like this. And you can't talk to those guys, so best thing is just to find them and attack them. Here to the Viking and his gang will be close by. And we're on our way. Anybody's got anything useful to say, which does not look like it. Alright, she's on what you got. Thanks for helping, and believe me, it's going to be worth it. You're going to help your colony with this. For this mission, you'll need to know at least a little bit of hacking. I'll teach you. No, I'm ready. Hacking can be an important tool during your travels. Having enemies engines or weapons can prove quite useful in certain situations. To hack, select the target, ship as a weapon, and middle click, then use V to hack. Be careful to hack the correct segment. You can add more abilities to hacking with further experience. Is hacking on the Caddick's flagship, but don't be too suspicious while you're at it. Try to stay close to them. Good luck. Yeah, no, this gigantic fucking monstrosity of a ship is totally not suspicious at all. Yo, Eric the Viking. Let's have us some wordlies. Y'all need to move, bitches. Get out of my way. I'll run you to hell over and I don't care. Remember when my ship was so much smaller than them? <laughs> hey, what's up? They're mistaking me for some kind of loser like yourself. I'm here to serve you justice. You will pay for that disrespect. Eat my Viking axe. Any time, you wanna get through my shields? What? Do it. <laughs> Fucking eradicated. 
was it not in your best interest to do the things that you just did? Yeah, let's go over here and uh, do this mission, I guess. I could just wipe this thing out. I really could. Project Ganymede is progressing as planned. I'm ready to... I'm ready to initiate Phase 3, Dr. Nortnex. Well, we ran into some problems back on Catechus Station. Why am I not paused? I already processed that information. Subjects from the Sphere Catalog. Truce of Elements have been expected. Still, these subjects have quite an influence. We shouldn't underestimate them. My calculations are without fault. It will take care. Oh, it will take care of the subject. It, you mean him again? Worked out last time, I guess. I need the signal. The song does not suffice. The results are lacking. Not on my side. We're doing everything we can to pinpoint its position. Your efforts remain meaningless if there is no result. If you cannot fulfill your task, you will become part of the catalog. We'll see about that. Go now. I need to listen. Start the transmission. Wait a second till he leaves. Should be any second. Okay. You know, I can't hack him because I gotta target him weapon wise. And he's gonna throw up a connection conniption fit because he's gonna be hit with uh, a shit ton of uh, that. That's a problem. That works. I'm losing the signal, and an element is disturbing my connection. Check the area. The doctor's project cannot be interrupted. They're sending some med guards to attack you or check on you. Maybe you can distract them some more before you get exposed. There's someone here. Someone over here. Let's talk. Take a look. State your business, stranger. I'm from the maintenance crew. My giant doom ship. Mr. Shiro sent me. He was like worried about your shield generator or something. Ah, eh, fuck. No, I think I'll stay. Eh, I think I'll stay. Yeah, I need to get. Maybe more lasers. Maybe just more laser beams. Time to get my ass out of there. You fools can't even take care of anything. Send the med hunters after the attacker. Okay, that's it. There's a squadron undocking from the Wedgeter. Well, we can tell those med hunter ships are pretty annoying. You can't take them on alone. We're in position, Clipso. Ready to go. Hey, listen. Get through the asteroid field and lead them to the rendezvous point. We'll finish them off together. Try not to die. Will you look at that? He never told your old father he shouldn't die when he was out on a mission. But Dad is about the data. We need it. Now get your ass out over here, Torque. Oh, got the big boy fighting me now too. I didn't really need the help, I promise. No, where'd this fucker go? That was close, really? Listen, we're gonna sort this the data brought us. Maybe it's best you get back to your colony on Pluto and tell them what's going on. I really think your colony should deny any help from catechists. Oh wait, there's more assholes coming. Interesting. Alright, big boy. Let's brawl. Bet you I win. I got the range. You got the you got a neat weapon, I'll give you that. Got this thing called range. That you don't got. I got 
some help coming apparently. We'll take care of that bullshit. Well, don't come running at me. Come attack me, you're gonna die. That's just what it is. Gotta get his flagship getting worked. Doom Egg beats Doom Tier today in the news. Can't win. You don't have the range. Why you got a big ass slow ship like that? You don't got the range for this. That's about enough out of you now, isn't it? That is a lot of trash. But well worth it. Go get our bounty. I actually know what I'm gonna do. Damn it. No, stop! the road nice and slow. What the hell did it even hit me? Oh, you. Fuck. Yeah, I need a better shield by far. And I should do. Should be clear of any bullshit. Use our active heal. Rep our hull. And take a landing. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Next one on the list would be the two brothers, Zorg and Krill. Alright. So. Um, yeah, as you can tell, uh, a few missions in, and uh, the damn thing's just a overt powerhouse, which I'm okay with. It's pretty silly. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely not supposed to be flying that ship at this point, I believe, but it is what it is, right? Anyway, we'll be back, as always, to continue in a bit, friends. Till then, stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time.